Singapore's total fertility rate is now sitting at an all-time low of 1.04. However, this isn't anything new, as Singapore's fertility rate has been consistently falling since all the way back in the 1960s. To be fair, this problem isn't unique to just Singapore. The global fertility rate has also been declining everywhere, especially in industrialized countries like US, China, Japan, UK, and so on. While some people may blame the tiger year for the drop in birth rate, others would point out that it's due to the rise in cost of living or a stressful working environment. But regardless, this problem will only continue to get worse as an aging population would mean that there will be less young people to support the elderly, which begs the question, is it worth having kids at all? As a father myself, I would sometimes find myself wondering, what would my life be like if I didn't have any kids right now? Would I have more time to do whatever I want, like playing games or starting another new business or meeting out with more friends? Just kidding, I don't have friends, but that's beside the point. The point is, having children is a very big commitment not just in terms of time, but also mentally and physically. Mentally, because I almost went crazy waking up every 3 hours to make milk for the baby. Physically, because carrying a 10kg kid who doesn't want to walk for the entire time is super tiring. According to studies, a few years before the child is born, the happiness level of a mother would rise and peak when the child is born. After that, the increase in happiness would slowly dissipate over the course of a year. Other studies have shown similar findings. For example, this study shows that women who don't have kids tend to be happier when compared to those with kids. This is true even when the kids have all grown up and moved out. Mothers will still experience a lower happiness level due to worry and concern for their children. And this is consistent no matter how many kids the mother has. Women who don't have kids tend to be happier than women who have kids. But interestingly, Fathers, on the other hand, experience a higher happiness level when their kids moved out. Fathers be like, my job is done, or adi lo. Fathers generally have a higher happiness level due to the fact that mothers are usually the ones who are responsible for taking care of the kids, while fathers are relatively uninvolved. So if having kids seems to make us less happy, why do we even have kids at all? Quick pause. One of the features that I like about Weibo is that it has a very useful calendar feature that shows economic data, earnings, dividend payout dates, and even IPOs. To find it, go to the market tab, tap on calendar, and here you will see the calendar. The good thing about this calendar is that it doesn't just show me the dates, but also the forecast and the actual results, making it easy to tell what's going on without going through all the news. In Weibo's latest sign up promotion, if you fund your account with $300, you will earn an exclusive 3 free shares worth anywhere from 3 USD all the way to 100 USD each. Then another 5 free rewards worth anywhere from 10 USD all the way to 500 USD each. And the best part, you don't have to make any trades to qualify for these gifts. So if you have not signed up to Weibo yet, you can sign up using my link down below. With that being said, Let's get back to the video. In the past, having more children makes sense because they can help out in the fields, aka free labor, and when the parents become old, children can help to take care of them. But as nations progress, we start to see a decline in fertility. That's because the incentives for having kids become lesser, while the reasons for not having kids becomes more. For example, as more countries start to offer pension plans, people become less reliant on their children to provide for them when they get old. Meanwhile, there's also a rise in females getting education and finding jobs. In a recent study done by YouGov, the biggest reason for not wanting to have children is affordability. With home prices going through the roof and living costs skyrocketing, many people are already finding it hard to save for their retirement, much less saving for a child. The estimated cost for raising a child may vary from $100,000 all the way to a million dollars. According to official data, for some countries, the amount of childcare costs in relation to the average wage can go up to as high as 37%. But on average, a couple would be contributing around 15% of their pay towards childcare. With that money, a couple would have been able to achieve many other things like quit their jobs and travel around the world or 
pursue a digital nomad life, chase their passions, and so on. But the moment you have kids, many of these plans would not be feasible due to financial constraints. Sure, the government did try to help out by giving out baby grants, housing grants, and subsidies. But despite that, this is just a small drop in the bucket, especially when the prices of everything have risen so much lately. The second biggest reason for people to not want to have kids is they felt it would impact their career and current lifestyle. This is especially true in many big cities like Singapore, which is the most overworked country in APEC. As someone on Reddit puts it, the whole Singapore society is not set up for starting a family, but rather is set up for maximum economic development. In contrast, people in Nordic countries like Denmark, Norway, Finland work less than 40 hours a week, which means they get to have more time off to do the things that they want to do, like spending time with their kids, pursuing a passion project, or doing leisure activities. And on top of that, they have very generous parental leaves. For example, did you know that in Finland, parents are given a total of 14 months worth of paid parental leave? Meanwhile, in Singapore, mothers are only entitled to 4 months maternity leave, and for fathers, just 4 weeks. Your boss be like, you got a kid? Congrats! Now come back to work. However, it's hard to blame anyone for this, as people from Asian societies are encouraged to work hard in order to acquire wealth and success. And oftentimes, this is not by choice. We need to work hard in order to stay relevant. For mothers, this is even worse because of something called the motherhood penalty. Females tend to earn less as compared to their male counterparts. And if they have at least one child, the pay would be even lower. That's because society expects women to do the majority of the work to raise and take care of the children. As a result, women have to give up on their career aspirations. In relation, men are expected to do less of that, so they are able to focus more on growing their career. So then, why do we even have kids at all? As it seems like there's a lot of downsides to having kids while having little to no upsides. A study found that while parents and non-parents have similar levels of life satisfaction, parents experience both more daily joy and more daily stress than non-parents. I can't speak for other parents, but this is my experience. While it's true that having kids sucks because they literally suck out your time, money, and energy, it also gives me a greater satisfaction in life. Nothing beats the joy of watching your kid taking her first steps, hearing her speak her first words, and watching her making friends. Nothing can beat that. Not even seeing Tesla going to the moon can replicate that feeling. Being a parent is more than just feeding the kid or sending her to classes. It's also about growing up together, having shared experiences together, and being their hero. Just ask any parents about their kid, and they will complain how expensive they are, how tiring they are, and how noisy they are. But at the end of the day, when you ask them whether they regretted having kids or not, most of them would say that they would never trade it for anything else. Yes, it's very conflicting, but I guess that's what being a parent means. Being willing to make huge sacrifices for your kid, that is something not everyone wants to do, and I totally understand that. While society and people around us may try to encourage us to do this or do that, I think in the end, it's up to us to decide which is the best path to choose while we are searching for our happiness, whether it's with or without kids.